Good morning, dear children. Um, I hope you all are enjoying your activities that have been given sent to you by the different teachers, different subject teachers. At the same time, you are at home and you are keeping safe and asking your parents also to do the same. Now, here we have met today with a very special purpose to talk about art integrated project. When I say art integrated project here, what does the word integration means? Integration is amalgamation or bringing together. Here the purpose is to bring together art, art with different uh, subjects, academic subjects that we are learning and we are learning English, Hindi, Math, Science, Computers, EDS, all these subjects and bring somewhere in these subjects we want to mix art with them. And increase our learning when I say that I'm going to uh, make uh, I'm going to bring together art and academics you will wonder that how is it possible that how can I learn English how can I learn maths by doing art yes you can do it it is not difficult it is very uh, easy at the same time it is very interesting where um, when given certain topic you go through that topic and you try to learn it and adapt it or mix it with art that time your learning becomes in, in a better how it is better because whenever we are do we are learning by doing that time our learning becomes easier and better and what what can be the better way of doing learning by doing it is art when I say art I hear I am talking about drawing coloring pasting and other things right now when I am talking about art integration as other teachers must have told you about it art integration project will be done um, throughout this month you, we have already lined up uh, four projects per subject and you have six subjects it comes out to be a 24 topic project now when we are going to do this project you will wonder it is going to be very difficult but no it is not going to be difficult it is going to be very easy once you set your mind and get prepared these topics and projects have been very carefully planned by your teachers and the subject teachers will uh, slowly and steadily tell you about them as we proceed in the weeks. Uh, as told to you, we are going to do four projects per subject. That means in English also we are going to do four of them. The topics are different for four different weeks. Now what, what are you going to do? You will wonder that you have to just collect the data and just put it on paper and pen. No, you are not going to do that. What you are going to do? You are going to wait for that day's instruction whenever you have English. Uh, we are going to post your instructions a day before and in the Google online meet class that time we will discuss and I will tell you how you can um, creatively project and present your uh, artwork along with uh, where to look for the data, uh, where to get the information, how to do the drawing, coloring, pasting and other things. Remember when we are doing English project or any other project that time you need to be careful that you have to demarcate your uh, subjects uh, differently. That means when you are doing your English project all the four weeks your work you are going to present it in one place. That is first you can finish the English work followed by the um, Hindi work then the EDS computer like this subject wise you will proceed. Now if you have English today then you are going to have it in the next week. So how do we do it? We are going to leave some pages and proceed to the next subject. And slowly towards the end of the month we will come to a completion of the project. Now coming to how to move in English project. Now when I say about English remember we are going to make certain pages. I told you 4 weeks that means we are going to present 4 topics. The topics will be given to you beforehand. We will tell you, we will inform you, you take your time and you finish your creative work. Now, uh, first page like I have designed, this is my first page where I have given a heading to my project. A heading to my complete project uh, in, which has all the subjects. I have called it glimpses of Maharashtra. And here the drawing you can see it is Varli art which is a very popular art form of very popular art form of Maharashtra. This early art has, is depicting uh, about uh, Maharashtra and the art and the artist of 
Maharashtra. So this I have treated like my cover page. Now your teachers have already told you that you can make your project one work in one scrapbook. This is one idea that has been given to you already. Now I can give you another idea. Uh, if you have not started your work, you can use drawing sheets like this. Now what have I done here? I have cut my drawing sheet into in a big chart paper into different piece in pieces. After making these pieces, now I have decided that I will reserve uh, four or five drawing sheets for English, then come PBS, then Hindi, then computer like this. So imagine this is your scrapbook. Same way you can proceed. You can use a chart paper, you can use handmade sheets, you can use drawing paper, even you can use a A4 paper like this. This kind of a paper you get in the market, it is not very expensive also. On this also you can do your project and then paste it on your scrapbook. Or you can directly use this paper. And wherever you feel that the number of pages are less in the scrapbook, you want to add an extra page, you can do it accordingly. Your mother or father will help you or you ask your teacher in the online class, she will guide you how to do it. Now coming to the First, this I have designed like the cover page of my book. This is my scrapbook. Imagine this is my scrapbook and I have designed the cover page like this. This is my cover page and there is place for to write my name, my class and section. Right? Now coming to the next page which will be the content page or the index page. What is the content page? The content page tells about what all is there in the scrapbook or the drawing or the project that you are presenting. So what I have done here, see you can have a look. I have divided the contents subject wise, subject English, then Hindi, then Odia, then Maths, EVS, Computer. Now I am going to proceed forward in this, in this way only. Right now coming to my English project as I told you you will get four topics these four topics you have to the main thing is getting information for which your parents will help you they will help you to go to different search engine, engines like Google YouTube and uh, you can get collect the information and either you can keep a screenshot of it or you can write it down somewhere in your own language and then when it comes to final presentation you can write it in your scrapbook or whichever place you are compiling your project. Now what did I do? I did not use a scrapbook. I have used, I told you, a chart paper which I have cut into pieces. And now I have punched this scrap, chart paper and this is my first page. Now this, best out of waste. This I got the shirt and I have used that plastic covering of the shirt to do this. Now coming to the contents. This is my first page where it shows the contents. Before this, you should all write the introduction part. And what does the introduction include? Introduction is like a, an overview of your project. It will tell what are you doing in this, why are you doing art integrated project, what are the things included in the project. Then after the con first introduction, then the content page. Now I come to my first page. I have now, in this, I have picked up a topic which is dance forms of Maharashtra. Now, we all know there are different dance forms of different states and here we are talking about Maharashtra. Our art integrated project is revolving around Maharashtra. So, I have picked up different dance forms of Maharashtra and this page I have developed or dedicated in my English project to dance forms of Maharashtra. What I have done here, I have used the Burli art to make the border. Then I have used different, I have written about the different dance forms. I have made it like a, like this. I have presented my work like this. In the pocket, I have kept these papers right in the pocket I have kept this papers now coming to what I have done I have shown Koli dance Lavni dance and the written work is was in the pocket so this I have another topic which can which say, talks about different musical instruments of Maharashtra and now here remember children you are not going to copy this you are going to use your own creativity and you will show what you can do right here I have in, uh, dealt with to tari the musical instrument of Maharashtra. Again, I have tried to make a puppet and here I have uh, used the Burli art to make my border and followed by writing about 
the tutari music then i have another topic which talks about varli art which is an art form of uh, maharashtra and here i have presented what the trick is how we do it all this i have shown in this then next topic i have again taken up another topic where i am talking about famous uh, you know leather sleepers of maharashtra which are called kolapuri chappals and in this like a window i have written about the kolapuri chappal same way in this window i have written about the different jewelry used in maharashtra one of them is very popular that is the nut that the ladies wear nut is a nose pin that they wear and it looks something like this so again here what i have done i have used um, old paper cuttings and i have done it and drawn it and color it and shown it in a 3d form then coming to the last form one here again a something different topic we all learn alphabets a b c d same way marathi language also has different alphabets and i have picked up those alphabets what in marathi and what how do and i have made how i have done the contrast with the english alphabets same way i have presented my i have taken my border or presentation as varli art right so this is the way you can proceed with your project remember this project is not a competition with any friend of yours and it is a competition with your own self where you are going to present as best as possible as uh, as much as possible try not to get it done by your art teachers don't by your art tuition teachers and by your parents take your parents help take their guidance help them um, take their help to find it, different information let them collect information for you let them help you to do in some cutting cutting and pasting but outline idea you should have that what you are doing and i will love to see the creativity of my dear children at the same time remember this project is not for you know just for submissions that you have to complete it and submit it to us and we are getting no this is for more for your learning this is for you to learn and show your skills and see you again in the google meet class uh, to and in that class we are going to tell you more about how to do topic wise we are going to tell you how to do each uh, project right thank